friends, I'm Shannon and I work for Cobb County Public Library and I have a final story to share with you for Hispanic Heritage Month. Today's book is called Lucy's Light by Margarita Domazzo and Silvia Alvarez. Can you see what kind of animal Lucy is? Do you know what that is? What is she? I guess I shouldn't even say animal, huh? Because she is a bug. Yeah, she's a little bug. Do you know what kind of bug that is? That has a light on the end? That's right, a firefly. Lucy is a little firefly. And this book is about Lucy's light. Lucy's light. When the sun has set, silence falls over the big forest and all of the nighttime animals wake up. In the trunk of a big strong tree lives Lucy. She is the youngest member of a family of fireflies. I like her tree house. Looks snuggy. The night always lets them know it's on the way because it doesn't like to catch them by surprise. Here I am, the night says. Then all the nighttime animals know it's their turn. Hmm, what is a nighttime animal? Yeah, did you know there are animals that sleep during the day when it's sunny and they're awake all night? We can see some here. We can see fireflies, an owl, a little mouse, a possum, nighttime animals. Lucy carefully watches as her family gets ready. They wave their bottoms in the air, wiggle their feelers, take a deep, deep breath, and sing, here we go. It's time to glow. Have you ever seen fireflies at night? They like to they like to sparkle and shine in the summer. And in a flash, they head off to light up the forest. I want to go too, says Lucy. You're still too small, says Grandma Firefly, but soon you'll shine just like everyone else. And finally, after waiting and waiting, Father Firefly says to Lucy, tonight you can come out with us. Are you ready? You bet, she says excitedly. Oh, I'm so happy for Lucy. Along comes the night and says, here I am. The fireflies all get ready, including Lucy. They wave their bottoms in the air, wiggle their feelers, take a deep breath and sing, here we go, it's time to glow. And in a flash, they head off to light up the forest. The little firefly looks around her, a giant light, like a great big firefly is floating in the sky, round and bright. Suddenly, Lucy turns back towards her home, sobbing. Oh, Lucy, why is she upset? What does she see in the sky? What's the matter? asks Father Firefly. I don't want to go out. My tummy hurts, says Lucy. Don't worry. You'll shine tomorrow, says her father. We all feel nervous sometimes. And he gives her one of those special kisses that makes everything right again.
The following evening, Mother Firefly says to her, Lucy, it's time to shine. Are you ready? You bet, she says. Do you think it'll be better this time? I sure hope so. Along comes the night and says, here I am. They all get ready and sing, here we go, it's time to glow. And in a flash, they head off to light up the forest. The moon is still there, floating high in the sky. Lucy pokes out her head and then rushes home, sobbing. What's the matter? asks her mother. I don't want to go. I'm tired. Don't worry. You'll shine tomorrow. It's all the excitement. It gets us all muddled, says Mother Firefly. And she gives her one of those special kisses that help you go to sleep. So Lucy didn't go again. She didn't go again, even though she was so excited to be big enough to go. The following night, Lucy doesn't even want to look outside. I've got cramps in my feelers, she says. This is quite common in inquisitive fireflies, and Lucy is very inquisitive. It doesn't matter, says Grandma Firefly. You can shine just the same. I can, but I don't want to, says Lucy. My light is only tiny, and it isn't any use. The great big firefly in the sky lights up the whole forest. What you see up in the sky is the moon, says Grandma Firefly. Then I want to shine like the moon, cries Lucy. Really? Then I'll tell you a secret, whispers Grandma Firefly. The moon only shines when the sun lights it up. Otherwise, nobody can see it. Did you know that about the moon? The moon doesn't have light of its own, and the moon does not shine on its own. The moon uses the sun's light to show us the moon reflection at night. Lucy listens to her grandma and then peers up at the moon, shining in the sky like a beautiful jewel. Well, says Lucy, then we can't trust that big old moon. But my light is important. And with that, she flies off into the night as fast as her wings can carry her. In the big forest, when night falls, all of the fireflies shine away just in case the sun doesn't feel like lighting up the moon. The end. Thank you so much for sharing that story with me today. Did you like that story about Lucy? What did Lucy learn? Lucy learned that even though she felt that her light was small, it was still just as important as everybody else's light, right? Do you have a light that shines? Maybe in your heart? And it's important just like everybody else's light is important. And I want to say, if you enjoyed listening to this book today, tune in again on Wednesday and Miss Catherine will read us Lucy's Light in Spanish in honor of the last week of Hispanic Heritage Month. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time for another story. Bye.